Today, since so many of you have asked for it, we're going to give you tips and pointers for reducing your biological age as measured by epigenetic biological age clocks. Biological aging, unlike the passage of time, is both measurable and mutable. DNA methylation-based clocks, or epigenetic clocks, have emerged as some of the most powerful predictors of morbidity and mortality. These methylation signatures correlate more tightly with disease risk and all-cause mortality than chronological age, meaning that biological age can run faster or slower than your birthday count. So can we intervene on that clock? Can we push biological age back as it's defined by these clocks, or at least decelerate it? Recent advances suggest the answer is yes through things like calorie restriction, physical activity, targeted nutraceuticals, system level interventions, we now have multiple points of leverage. Today, we're going to give a high level overview of the ways we can begin slowing or reversing your biological aging process as looked at through the epigenome right now. In animal models, calorie restriction remains the most robust, reproducible intervention to extend lifespan and delay age-related pathology. It consistently slows epigenetic aging in mice, rats, and rhesus monkeys. In humans, the trial known as CALORIE showed that two years of 25% caloric restriction reduced the pace of aging as measured by the Dunedin pace clock. That trial was tightly controlled and found a statistically significant approximately two to 3% deceleration in biological aging over 12 to 24 months. Mechanistically, calorie restriction upregulates sirtuins, specifically SIRT1, and the even more powerful SIRT6. It enhances NAD plus biosynthesis, improves mitochondrial biogenesis, it activates autophagy, and it suppresses mTOR signaling. Calorie restriction preserves DNA methyltransferase activity stabilizes epigenetic architecture, and reduces genomic instability. It is perhaps the single most potent behavioral intervention we know of for systemic anti-aging or longevity, and takes the prize in mouse lifespan extension among all of the interventions studied to date. Yes, it has even beaten out prescription drugs like rapamycin, as well as even genetic modifications. Next, we have the TRIM trial executed by my colleagues. The TRIM trial offered the first concrete evidence of epigenetic age reversal in humans. Nine men received a combination of growth hormone, metformin, and DHEA for one year, aiming to regenerate thymic tissue, which nearly disappears by the later decades of our lives. By the end, their biological age, as measured by Dr. Steve Horvath, have reversed by one and a half years on average, with the effect accelerating in the final quarter. The Grim Age epigenetic clock, a really powerful clock, showed a reduction of approximately two years relative to chronological age. The subsequent Trim X trial is expanding this work with more participants and personalized protocols. Early data suggests repeatable reductions in biological age. While the sample sizes are still small and controls are imperfect, the implications are paradigm shifting. Human biological age, at least epigenetically, is malleable with the right combination of therapies. Next, we have diet. Plant-centric dietary patterns correlate with slower biological aging. The Mediterranean diet with high intake of vegetables, polyphenols, omega-3s, and olive oil is inversely associated with grim age biological age and do need in pace biological age acceleration. Vegan and vegetarian diets, particularly when low in processed foods and high in micronutrients and fiber, reduce systemic inflammation and promote DNA methylation stability. An eight week vegan diet in twins significantly reduced epigenetic age acceleration compared to omnivorous controls. Mechanisms include polyphenol driven histone modulation, enhanced folate dependent one carbon metabolism, and lower advanced glycation end products. The takeaway is clear. High quality nutrient dense anti-inflammatory diets yield a younger epigenetic profile. Does this mean you need to eliminate animal proteins? I wouldn't go that far, but I certainly would not remove plants from my diet as many influencers are now suggesting with longevity being my primary goal. Now let's talk about exercise. Exercise reduces biological age full stop. High cardiorespiratory fitness and resistance training correlate with slower epigenetic aging, longer telomeres, lower chronic inflammation, and improved DNA repair. Lifelong endurance athletes have epigenetic ages several years younger than matched sedentary peers. Exercise upregulates AMP kinase, SIRT1, 
mitochondrial biogenesis, myokine-driven anti-inflammatory signaling, just to name a few. Even in older adults, initiating an aerobic program slows Dunedin pace and preserves telomere length. The biological aging impact of inactivity is equally clear. Sedentary behavior is a driver of accelerated epigenetic aging and mortality. So how can vitamins play a role? Vitamin D sufficiency correlates with lower epigenetic age. In a German longitudinal study, supplementing deficient older adults reduced biological age by approximately 2.6 years over seven years. Omega-3s in the Do Health randomized control trial reduced epigenetic age across multiple clocks after three years. B vitamins like folate, B12, B6 support DNA methylation via the methionine cycle. Deficiencies elevate homocysteine and induce aberrant methylation. Clinical trials show correcting deficiencies can normalize methylation patterns. Supplementing these nutrients isn't about megadosing. It's about ensuring adequacy to support epigenetic stability. What about longevity supplements? In a human case study, Novo's core was found to reduce the pace of aging as measured by Dunedin Pace by one month per year for 73% of participants. Equally as striking, 0% of the participants had accelerated aging. The p-value for the study was 0 0.001, and a clinical trial with a placebo control is underway. Moving on, sleep disruption and chronic stress both accelerate epigenetic age. Poor sleep and shift work are associated with higher grim age and pheno age. PTSD accelerates epigenetic aging by up to two to three years. Mechanistically, sleep loss and psychological stress elevate interleukin-6 TNF-alpha, and cortisol, driving methylation drift. On the flip side, stress recovery reverses acute epigenetic age acceleration. Practices like meditation, CBT, and sleep hygiene show potential to decelerate aging. Intermittent fasting mimics calorie restriction. It increases NAD+, induces autophagy, and suppresses mTOR signaling. Fasting remodels DNA methylation in the brain and liver. Genetics accounts for only about 20% of lifespan variants. Variants in FOXO3, CETP, and APOE influence aging rates, but lifestyle dominates. Environmental toxins accelerate aging. Particulate matter exposure, smoking, heavy metals, all increase epigenetic age and inflammatory markers. Smoking elevates DNA M age by three to five years, reversible over time if cessation is sustained. The microbiome also modulates biological aging. Centenarians have unique microbiota signatures, and fecal transplants from young to old mice reduce systemic inflammation and rejuvenate multiple organs. Microbial metabolites like butyrate can modulate host epigenetics and immune tone. Inflammaging drives tissue dysfunction, stem cell exhaustion, and epigenetic aging. High interleukin-6, CRP, and TNF-alpha correlate with faster grim age and do need in pace. Senescent cells amplify inflammation via the SASP that they secrete, the senescent-associated secretory phenotype. Senolytics and senomorphics, for example, like the statinib plus quercetin or Novo's core, eliminate or reduce the impact of senescent cells, reduce inflammation, and in mice, reduce epigenetic age and extend lifespan. In early human trials, senolytics show promise for improving function and lowering inflammatory cytokines. Vitamin D, omega-3s, and polyphenols like curcumin also lower inflammation. The goal, reduce systemic inflammatory tone to preserve epigenetic and tissue integrity. Insulin resistance, elevated IGF-1, and poor glucose control accelerate biological aging. The prescription drug metformin improves insulin sensitivity and is associated with slower epigenetic aging. The TAME trial is testing metformin for delaying age-related diseases. Calorie restriction and exercise reduce insulin and mTOR signaling preserving metabolic youth. Rapamycin inhibits mTOR and in mice reduces liver epigenetic age. Growth hormone and IGF suppression seen in dwarf mice extends lifespan and decelerates DNA methylation aging. Human interventions should aim to optimize, not eliminate anabolic signaling. Glynac, which is glycine with N-acetylcysteine, as well as alpha-ketoglutarate, are emerging compounds that improve mitochondrial health and reduce epigenetic age in small trials. Aging is marked by genomic instability and telomere attrition. NAD plus fuels PARPs, NSERT1, critical for DNA repair. Supplementing nicotinamide riboside or NMN in mice restores DNA repair and improves organ function. CERT6 overexpression extends mouse lifespan and improves genome stability. 
Telomerase activation by a gene therapy extended lifespan in mice and reversed biomarkers of aging, though cancer risk still remains a concern. Senolytics and partial reprogramming both reduce DNA damage markers, reinforcing the link between epigenome maintenance and longevity. Pollution, smoking, and psychosocial stress accelerate epigenetic age. Conversely, clean environments and strong social networks slow it. Loneliness, trauma, and low socioeconomic status raise grim age, biological age, and inflammaging markers. Public policy to reduce air pollution, support social cohesion, and improve access to healthcare may be as critical to slowing population level biological aging as any supplement. Multi-omics platforms are enabling personalized aging analysis, integrating genome, epigenome, proteome, metabolome, and microbiome to identify aging phenotypes. AI tools now generate individual aging reports like the Enable Age Clock, available for free in the Novos Life app, which also recommends interventions. Aging is not monolithic. One person may be aging fastest in their vasculature, another in their immune system. Personalized longevity approaches are emerging, adjusting over time using biological age feedback from DNA methylation and proteomic clocks and metabolomic clocks, etc. Slowing or reversing biological aging is no longer hypothetical. Multiple interventions, from lifestyle to molecular, have demonstrated the ability to decelerate or even reduce epigenetic age. The data are robust enough to act on today. So start today. Calibrate your diet, exercise regimen, sleep, and stress protocols. Consider the pros and cons of substances like metformin, NAD plus boosters like NMN, or other low risk nutraceuticals like Novos Core if you're in the target group. Monitor your biological age yearly via methylation clocks to track progress. In the coming decade, Partial epigenetic reprogramming and multi-omic personalization will further tilt the odds in our favor. But the foundation remains. Reboost metabolic stress, maintain genome stability, and dampen chronic inflammation. That's how you slow your clock. So until next time, stay strong, stay curious, and slow your age.